Hey y'all, welcome to another artsy studio vlog. I officially have less teeth in my mouth and a headache, but it is Monday. And that's kind of what I was hoping for, remember? So, I'm feeling pretty good. Yesterday was not good. Anyway, all the yarn has been rolled for the bigger jack-o-lantern and I'm so excited. I also edited a studio vlog this morning. I feel like that's gonna happen like every other day, every third day maybe. So, now that all the yarn is rolled, we're gonna get started. Start with the smaller details as usual and then work our way to the bigger sections. Okay, I think that'll be good. Done with the first color. Wow. All right, next. Small detail. Color. Finish your sentences. You can't see it, but one of the balls of yarn is just, just dangling there. Ah, because there's knots, you see? You see? Yeah, you do. Next color, done. I suppose the outline of the hat could be next, or the face. I'm gonna figure it out, but you're overheating, so I'm gonna give you a break. Hey, uh, while you were cooling down, I did the outline of the hat, and then I did his, his like, stem hair situation. Um, so now, I think the last, like, smallish detail before we start filling in, like, the bigger areas is like his mouth, his nose, and his eyes. I don't know where to put you for this. Let me know what your favorite angle um, to, to watch tufting happen is. Is it on the other side of the framing? Is it this side? Oh my god, he's gonna be so cute! Oh, you're seeing nothing because lighting sucks! Who invented a freaking box light? What even is that? It looks so stupid. It's so, like, front top heavy. They always fall, the bulbs are ridiculously big, and when they fall, they break. I understand they're supposed to diffuse light, but they're still annoying. Stunning. Look at him. Oh my god. Ta-da! Eyeball number one. And his nose! Eyeball number two, done! Oh my god, his eyeballs are just like big poofs back here. Wow, he is gonna be spectacular.
Uh, <laughs> Y'all, I made an oopsie. <laughs> I don't even know why. I think I was just completely zoned out. This tiny little section in between the point of the hat, not supposed to be black. It's supposed to be the background color, which is that like cookie color that I've shown you already. Uh, now I have to rip all of these out. It's fine. But the hat is tufted and the hat is very cute. So this is what the other side of a little jack-o'-lantern is looking like right now. Hello. <laughs> wow, that's it. You know, I left you behind the framing. There you are. Okay, let's let's get you out of there. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's the next day. And what did you... Oh, you saw. You saw me fill in the hat. Fabulous. Uh, this morning, I popped out those those resin things that we were working on, that I was working on, that you don't know about yet. Lost two nails in the process, re-glued them. Then I had to outro that video, and then I had to clean up my laptop, like transfer a bunch of files uh, onto an external hard drive, and then import all of those clips from this video that I've been working on for like ages now onto my laptop. And now we're here. Now we get to do the tufting. And last night, right before I fell asleep, why is it always that way? Like right before you fall asleep, you remember something so vital that your eyeballs just shoot open. You're like, I have to fix this right now. And I like, I literally remembered that I have a couple of like TikTok slash reels that I'm working on for these rugs that I've kind of forgotten about. So lost a couple of steps in that, but that's, you know, that's okay. It happens. Um, I'm just going to roll with it and I'm going to make it cute because that's, that's my job. So I'm basically ready to go in with the orange to fill in the pumpkin part. I'm so excited to see him filled in. I also can't believe how much we did yesterday, how much tufting we got done on this yesterday. We basically got all of the like smaller bits done and now I just have to fill his face in and then do the outline or like background rather. I also did fix, I fixed the, the hat part because I had to. I feel like there was something else that I did this morning, but the, the popping of the resin things out took a while because they're spheres and now that I have claws, it's a lot harder. I had to ask Ricky to come down to pop one of them out. Anyway, let us begin. Here we go. Bop, bop, bop. Tuck his butt cracks, because he's got two of them. Unlevel floors, not, not cool. Laughing maniacally, not cool. If you can name what that is from, then we are destined to be best friends and it's eventually gonna happen. One butt cheek. Done. Can you even see what I'm doing? You're looking at my back, aren't you? Maybe one of my new workouts could be like just lifting my tufting gun up and down. All right. All three butt cheeks tufted. Hey y'all, we're just about done. Uh, I just have to fill in this tiny little section. I have one small skein left. I feel like I bought the perfect amount for these two rugs and I don't know how I did that. I've done it. It is done. Okay, you can come down from there. Oh, oh no, he's so cute. <laughs> he's so fucking cute. Yeah, he's literally perfect in every single way possible. I'm so excited for the Halloween drop. It's just gonna be perfect. Hey y'all, it's the next day and it's actually, it's like three. Uh, I edited a life vlog 
and a studio vlog today. So, and I uploaded the vlogs because I didn't want them to go up on like the same day at the same time. We need to finish this out in this vlog. I do feel like the studio vlog is probably going to be a little bit longer than all the other ones, but I, you know, I don't want to leave you guys with just the outline not being done. I want to, I want to finish this out in this video. Did we start this one in this studio? We did, didn't we? Because the one I edited today didn't even start it yet. Because we worked on the this one. So start and finish in one studio vlog. I love that. Okay. So I already have the yarn. We have the rest of what I used for that one that I'm going to go through first. And then I wound up a couple more. So I think we should be good to get started. I literally... Oh my goodness. All right, y'all, we're gonna breeze straight through this. It's gonna be magical. We're not even on. We're not even on. <laughs> y'all, it's done and it's perfect. Right? This, this like cookie color is amazing. It's just such a good like background color. Just like a nice like off white, especially for like Halloween. I don't know. It's, I guess it's, it's like a vintage paper also kind of color. Anyway, look at him. He's so perfect. Perfect in every single way. I love this like bright orange color. I just, he's going to be so great. I cannot wait to carve it out and see it like all crisp and perfect. I mean, all of, all of these. So now I have to do these. And then I finally get to glue everything and cut it all down, which will happen possibly in the next studio vlog. But yeah, oh my God. Imagine having this in your house for like a Halloween decoration, right? Right, right. It's so freaking cute. Anyway. I'm going to end the studio vlog here because like I've been saying, I feel like this one's going to be a long one. So thank you guys so much for watching the studio vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and my, um, my vlog channel if you're interested in, you know, outside of the studio life. It is not so artsy. You can follow me literally everywhere. It is at Artsy Mad Woman. Besides Twitter and Tumblr. Nope. Besides, ew, Twitter? It's not even called that anymore. I don't have a Twitter. Uh, besides Tumblr and Twitch, which is the artsy mad woman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye.